Hey guys, Mythic here. Today we are back with another Mountain Blade Warband tutorial on the great character Toot of Oriole. So, um, last time I showed you guys how to get some really good loot for your character from free. For free. And, uh, yeah, so... We got, got some pretty good loot. We got a good helmet, we got a good, uh, chest plate. The only thing that's lacking is our boots, and we will get some good of those sometime in the future. But today, I am going to be showing you guys on how to make money. Lots of money to pay for your ever-growing army. So, uh, if you look at your inventory, you have these furs, and it looks the sell price is 359 By the way, this is if you still have those furs. You might have sold them already, but that's a lot of money. So, obviously, what you want to do is you want to go to Marketplace. They don't have enough money. So we're going to go to the armor merchant, and then we can sell these for a lot of money. So yeah, we got that. And the, the way to get money without being in a war is... Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make money during a war with another video, but right now is to join tournaments. So we're going to go to the tournament master, and you can't find a tournament in the city. It'll tell you about the tournaments... Uh, at the top, uh, I need to quit. It'll tell you about the tournaments like in the top here. So there isn't one currently in this town, but we can talk to the tournament master. And it's like, will there be a tournament in any nearby towns? There will be one at Sargoth, Uxhall, Kadan, Tolaga, Kara, Rivacheg, Yalen, and Nikomer. And you're like, okay, so uh, let's find those cities. Um, so there's Uxhall, Kara. Um, Ikemer and Tolga. So we're gonna head to Uxhal. And we are going to do control plus space to speed up. Don't really have to worry now because you have an army of uh, 42, which is pretty big. And boom, tournament. So we're gonna join the tournament. And the way to make money as a tournament place a bet on yourself. A hundred dinars. Now, you really have to win because uh, if you don't, then you're gonna waste. A decent amount of money but when you do win you can get about 4,000 which is more money than we will have ever had in the series so far it's gonna be a lot of money pretty much tournaments they're the best way to get uh, money out of war it, at, well you could do you know merchants stuff in a way uh, I'll explain that later but trade prices fluctuate the game is actually kind of a real-life situation simulation because different places you know price things differently so uh yeah anyway i'll explain that in our video so the next thing you do is okay you won the first round or you lost place another bet on yourself so next you're gonna fight in the next round and there's like eight rounds of the tournaments uh on the thing where i was saying this is the best way to make money out of war you could do selling where you go around and find the best prices for certain uh, luxury items. But the reason I think this is better is it improves your weapons skills. So you'll be uh, getting better with your weapons and making a lot of cash. So yeah. Always go to tournaments. I recommend. Alright, we gotta beat this guy. Ooh, blocked. Blocked again. Die. Nah, no, stop. Hey! You just knocked my homie unconscious. Ooh, delivered eight damage and knocked unconscious by Toot of Oreo. Let's kill his horse. And I missed. So you want to place another bet on yourself. And uh, pretty much for every single round you play, place a bet of uh, about 100 dinars. If you don't have enough money to do that, place the uh, bet of the highest amount you can. Because the least you can make is enough money to uh, pay for uh, betting on yourself in another tournament or for paying for your army. Y paying for your army is really what tournaments are good at. <laughs> yep, there we go, we're gonna mug this guy. Alright, so uh, there's not many people left in the tournament, so we're gonna place another bet on ourselves that we are the very best, like no one ever was. 
and uh, just gonna like ah I delivered 48 damage okay there's a weird buzzing sound going on it seems to be coming from my controller because the only way to play Hyper Light Drifter Co-op is to have an Xbox controller. Or just any controller. You cannot use a mouse and keyboard for co-op. Even though that would like totally be cool. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're winning. Just place another bet on yourself. And uh, keep on winning. The game will tell you when the tournament is over. And you have won because you will not get any of your winnings if you lose halfway through. Like even if you win three rounds but lose a fourth round, you won't get any of those uh, hundred dinars, four hundred dinars down the drain. So you really have to make sure you can win each and every battle. So here we are in the final battle. Just gonna bet another hundred dinars. And yeah, that was pretty quick. So um. If you won the tournament, congratulations. Look, 4,180 dinars from that tournament. And 20 renown. So that's awesome. Now we can go to the tavern and be like, hey, I won the tournament. Hey. Dang it, I don't have any. Uh... Yeah, so. Here we are. We have a lot of cash now. So, um, if you remember where those other tournaments were, such as, uh, the Tolga, then we can head over there. And, uh, we can do another tournament. So, really, what you're trying to do now is keep doing the tournaments and win, too. And I'm going the direction. We need to go deeper into Kurgit lands. Do, 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 Tolga. I think the Kurgit Con 8 has my favorite tournament type. Ah, dang it. So let's go to the arena and ask where another tournament will be. I'm Tutuvarial. Ikemer. So we gotta quickly run over to Ikemer. And do this tournament. Before wow, night. Hey. And we wow. just got attacked. We outnumber them. So, But they are step bandits. One if one hold this position. Two if one hold this position. Uh, four of one of two. Uh, no, three of one of two. Cavalry, follow me. So we have our two cavalry. We're about to be charged by a lot of cavalry. Um, I don't know how well we're gonna do. We're gonna have to really be able to carry the, uh, squad. <laughs> we gotta actually, like, do good. Okay, you know what? Um, one of one of three. I'm going to try to delay them and let my infantry get up here. Because if we don't let them get a charge on the infantry, the infantry will be able to perform so much better. And that is actually my Xbox controller making the sounds of what seems to be me under attack. So that's why it's so annoying. Ah, we lost one of our uh, manhunters. But yes, we have to do this for our peeps. Because we are doing so much better than if we let them flat out charge us. Flat out charging is never a good idea. Do never flat out charge. No, 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 no. And we're going to get a ton of experience for this. The only issue is we're going to take damage from this battle and it'll uh, damage us in the tournament as well. But that should be manageable if you're too good to be killed. Like, I am not too good to be killed. Yeah! And we just lost the recruit. Don't kill my recruit. You were the one who has dealt the killing blow. I must say, I'm very proud of my uh, troops. They're doing a really good job. Like, against cavalry, you usually wouldn't expect uh, peasants and recruits to be able to hold their own. That is why Rodok and Swadian recruits are the best, because they have spears. They have so much anti-cavalry early game. And, I mean, Rodoks keep their anti-cavalry. Um, Swadians become the cavalry to be anti-ed. anti -ed. anti -ed. But, uh, there's a lot of our guys going unconscious, which is... It, it's leagues better than them being killed. We're obviously gonna have to replace these guys. Remember, do not replace them until you get back to Swadia. 
Now this guy is a true horse archery master. But let's see who will be the real master of axe to face combat. I am. So, uh, yeah, there's like this one dude left and he's being just counter sniped and there's another guy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so, uh, obviously we need to snipe him down. Yeah, my horse archery skill in this game is bad. If I can even hit, I'll be surprised, which I did hit one. Oh, he's retreating, yeah. Alright, well, we won the battle. Not many killed, I'd say a few, maybe ten. Six killed, twenty-eight. Them, and we get some manhunters to join the ranks. Let's capture these step bandits and sell them later. And now look here. We just got a good a new horse. Now you can decide whether you want maneuverability or speed. Personally, I like speed, so I'm going to get this one instead. I'm going to uh, take this. And uh, check this out. It's worse than what we got, so we're going to ignore it. And, uh, yeah. Don't mess with the toot of Oreo. Um, so we're gonna head to Ikamura. Please tell me the tournament still exists. No, it doesn't, so we're gonna run to the tavern real quick. Borka Traveler Arena! Let me any tournaments nearby! No, so what we have to do here is, um, the art of camping. So we're just we're just gonna sit here, and uh, that now we're gonna go check. Is there a tournament anytime soon? Dang it! All right, here's where we make the march to the other city and go give me a tournament. Arena, give me a tournament. Joe Kala, that's back in the Rodok lands. The best lands in the world. Jakala. It's gonna be gone by the time we get there, but whatever. Oh, yay, but we still have a ton of cash. Like, right now, our small little weak army is not going to make much of a dent in our treasury. That's good. That That's very grand. I really wanted to know about that piece. That's my castle. Alright, so there's no tournament, but let's check the arena. A lot of tournaments are just running around and looking for tournaments, and there won't be any soon. So, here's where we make the move to go to Veluca. In other words, when you need a lot of money, and you want money, just run around and just look for tournaments. Because I guarantee, eventually you'll find one. No, alright. But you guys get the idea from what I've shown, you know. You pretty much bet on yourself, you fight, you, uh... I want to see if we can get one more tournament, but it seems like we're not going to be able to. Let's go to the tavern. Ooh, farmer, what is the matter, my good dude? Where is this village? Tabral. We can do this instead and make very little money. Where did this peasant come from? All the way over there, you just, you, you, you should have gone to like, Praven or something. It's the grandest, just, oh, 20 bandits? I'd hardly call it an infestation. But now we are about to recklessly charge these guys with our great Soidian army. And uh, some of the farmers decided to join us in this fight. Because there's like 15 million more of them than there are of the bandits that totally wouldn't have been able to throw out the bandits much earlier. Because we're peasants. We don't do that. Yo, stop. Yeah. Wonder, could this be game played with the controller? Because it seems to be really focused on the controller. Or the controller seems to like be agitated by it. Hey, my broski. 
if Ferentis just got level 7 So every time I get hit, it's like, new, and the thing buzzes. And as an honorable victory, we will sacrifice this peasant. So, yeah, we gain morale and renown. Now it's like, do you want to take their wealth? Or do you refuse? Now, the game tricks you. If you say, take it as you're due, thinking you're going to get stuff out of it, they have nothing. So refuse and you gain honor. And let's recruit some volunteers and get some Swedians. So we're gonna home back we're gonna head back to the homeland Praven. And see if we can find a tournament there. That should give the tournaments enough time to refresh. Give me a tournament. Oh no, have I been ambushed? Okay now. I'm Tutorial. Tolga. And ugh. This game hates me. Tolga. So if we, you know, it's closer. Durkuba. That I definitely pronounced that correct. Like th this is the majority of tournaments. I mean, the they're one of the best and peaceful ways to make money. And oh no, we've run out of food. Yeah, your party doesn't like that. I told you guys don't do it. I said focus on your food. But when you're going to a tournament. Who cares about what your peasants think? Just let them know that you don't care about them and that they really don't matter to you. Okay, so the morale's average. That's good. We just gotta win a few battles. And the tournament is here. Place a bet of yourself. 100 dinars. And uh, get stomped because you're not on horseback. One of the best strategies I say is always get a horse. Just try. Like, I can't fight without a horse. Just gonna, just gonna just kick his body off. Hey, stop. Just cause my party's better than yours doesn't mean you have to be so mad about it. Oh crap, they outnumber us. Do we have a big sword? Get me a big sword. The biggest sword on the king of the most Swardians. I am, I am Tutorial from the Swardian kingdom. Not the Swadians. Those don't exist. Swadians aren't real. The conspiracy thickens. Stop. Oh, we're level 8. Stop. See? This giant sword can kill anyone instantly. So let's level up real fast. So we're gonna get... Power draw... 3 and 4. We're gonna get some intelligence. And we're gonna get surgery. Because surgery is pretty good. Um, I guess we'll get some good at throwing... That's really all I want to put in now. Place another bet on me. In a real tournament, obviously, I know all of my fans would place a bet on me to win. Because I'd probably just fall down because I was too tired halfway through. This is a vicious battle. It represents real field combat. By smacking your friends with wooden sticks. It's actually cool. You can see who's in the tournaments, like... Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh, you've probably seen me do it. So, uh, oh yeah. A uh, view participants. So we got the hired blades, me, and it doesn't seem like any special lord is here, so. Sometimes you end up fighting the king of a faction in a tournament, and it's like hilarious, because you just end up wrecking him. The king sucks, like, ah. Oh. Okay, so that archer is getting quite annoying, so we're gonna. The archer hasn't turned to shoot at us, so we don't have to worry about, you know. And behind us, and he did no damage. No damage. Hey yo, yo, Ovalea. Yeah, you now, now you notice me. Like your spidey senses were tingling. So you're gonna turn around. How is this little knife beating my sword? I guess it's faster. By not much, I'd say. Okay, so I am out manned. But I'd rather say I'm not out planned. I don't have a plan, it's um win. I mean that that that's the joke everyone makes, you know, when it comes to a plan, it's like, I don't have a plan. The plan is to win. Ah! 
Oh my god, it's a joke! But it's not funny. So, um, yeah. Oh my god, I'm fighting a dude on horseback. Okay, well, I definitely mitigated the damage. And now he got stuck on a wall, so, uh, I'm just going to chop your horse out from under you. And your inability to hit me. You know, I don't like shields. I'm just blocking this guy. Alright, there we go. So, uh, let's hope this is the end of the tournament. But if you're not, there's probably two more rounds to go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. This is just unfair. This guy's not even gonna get close. Yeah, that was unfair. Let's, let's, let's give a shot into the crowd. Alright, so it's me versus Mercenary Swordsman. This should be easy. Oh man, you gave me the good weapon. This guy's gonna like open his shield to attack and get wrecked. Why do I feel like these one-handed swords are like so much like slower than these two-handed swords? Anyway guys, another like 4k dinars. Oh, and a, this is my favorite belligerent junks. Uh, what are you looking at? I'm not sure. Some sort of animal, clearly. I'll wipe that smirk off your face. No shooting! Stop! No shooting! And this guy is just slow running. <laughs> you you want to go? No. No, I don't think you want to go. Yeah, this is not working out for you. you you're blocking. Die. Well, he's killed. Such a waste. <laughs> not sword. So let's hack down this. Yeah. Yeah, my door. Okay. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you and uh, you enjoyed it. Um, we're just going to upgrade these guys all to militia and get a, a trained force of professional people ready to be killed. Alright guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you get some money, as you can see we have a lot of money now, decent amount at least, um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, if you have any questions about the game, please put them in the comments, I will try my best to answer them, and um, next time I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, join a faction, Think out.